Hi, this is Dan Pierce, and uh, recently on my 66 bug, um, I had a problem with uh, my shifter uh, bushing. And, uh, you know, usually you replace it with that plastic bushing, and, you know, then another five years down the road, you're doing it again. And uh, I've seen a lot of videos on uh, YouTube for replacing it on a newer vehicle, uh, like a 70, 71 and newer, but never on an older 6-volt vehicle. So I figured two things. Uh, I bought this copper replacement uh, from Custom Conversion, supposed to be a lifetime fix. I bought their special tool that's supposed to put it on, and it's supposed to make this very easy. Uh, came with the tool, came with a, a flash card with, I assume, a video on how to, and uh, the copper bushing itself. And I figured that uh, I'd show you how to do this. Uh, we'll all learn together. I've never done it before on this particular vehicle. And uh, we'll just kind of figure this out so that you can decide whether you want to get one and uh, what you think about it. And I'll tell you how the shifter feels and all that because mine's uh, got a performance shifter on it anyway. It's not a stock car. But the shifter rod itself is stock, and uh, so it should be the same for a stock vehicle as well. The only difference, of course, would be my shifter itself, which as you know, is two bolts and not a big deal. So uh, I'll give you a, a rundown on how to do that. And uh, we'll start now. Now, my Volkswagen is a 1966 Beetle. It has a few enhancements to it. Um, the shifter that I currently have on it uh, is a SCAT uh, drag shifter. As you can see, i got the booth pushed, pushed up. And uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is take the two bolts off the bottom. And uh, it is just like it sounds, two bolts, you pull straight up, and the shifter comes out, so I'm going to do that right now. Now one thing a lot of people ask is how did I know that the shifter bushing was bad? Um, while the shifter still works, it goes into gear, you'll notice that when it's in gear, uh, right now it is in uh, fourth, look how much play I have even though it's in gear. Um, typically, this is neutral. So when it's in gear, it almost has as much play as when it's in uh, neutral. So it should not have that. Um, when it's in gear, especially on mine, it's typically pretty solid. So after doing a bit of research and looking and checking to make sure my back bushings uh, that go between the, uh, the shaft and the transmission, they were okay. So basically, I narrowed it down to the shifter bushing uh, had failed on the shaft. So, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to take the, uh, take the uh, shifter out. It's just two bolts. I'm not going to bore you with uh, doing that because then I'd have to do this one-handed, which would not be fun. Uh, for those that are wondering, the little switch, that's just for my, uh, my drag brake. Basically, it, uh, it's a, what's called a line lock. locks the front wheel. So, ignore that and uh, just think of it as a regular shifter. All right. I got the two bolts out, so now I can just pull the shifter right out, and you'll see the cup down there. That's what the uh, shifter fits into, and uh, we're going to pull that out, and I'll show you how to do that uh, easily. Uh, we're going to use a shaft. Um, this piece of wood right here, nice long piece of wood. You could also use a PCV pipe. Um, I didn't have one I wanted to cut cut up at the moment. Uh, if you look at the end of the wood, I drilled a hole in it and I put a, uh, a zip tie in it through the hole and then I just taped the zip tie off so that it wouldn't be flapping in the wind. And I'll show you what to do in the front of the car. Now here's where it differs a little bit between a 66 and older and say a 67 and newer. Uh, this hole that you see there has to be opened up. There's a cap that goes over that. And you know, usually um, there's a hole in the front of the car on uh, the newer ones. And this is where it gets a little different between the new and the old. I'm going to get my flashlight here so you can see. Um, if you look on the front, the hole is actually right there. On the uh, newer ones, it's kind of in the same spot but the hood's a little higher and then you just have that cap in the front. This one, you have it right there, and then there's a hole behind that. And then, back on the uh, steering uh, 
right where the steering is a little bit. Let me get here so you can see. There we are. You'll see right on the frame head there's a cap, which I took off. And uh, then you can put that shaft, in my case that stick of wood, through that whole assembly. And then we can pull that whole shaft through that hole. All right, now, first thing you have to do, well, really, if you want to get technical, second thing you have to do is in the back of the vehicle, under the seat, you're going to see this piece here, and this is your coupler, and uh, we're going to have to disconnect that coupler, so the bolt that goes through the middle of the shaft has to come off, not so much the rear part, but the shaft in the middle, because we're going to be pulling this whole shaft out. So that's the next thing to do. In my particular case, it's one bolt. Sometimes it'll be like a kind of a weird, mine's a high performance one, so I have a kind of a large bolt on mine. Uh, some of them just have like a pin with a, with like clips on them. Some of them have like one, almost looks like a metal screw going through it. This is the part that I, this is one of those places I found that if you spend an extra three bucks, you get a better shifter coupler. So I'm just going to disconnect this next. Alright, as you can see, just taking the bolt out. Not really uh, rocket science here, just uh, one uh, wrench on each side, go to town, pull the bolt out, no big... Alright, I did decide to take this uh, back bolt out so I can take the whole piece off. The reason for this is it gives you a little more movement, it'll make it easier to take the, uh, the rest of it off. I can actually spin the thing, get the bolt off a little easier. So, it's only one bolt. So I take the bolt off. Then I can take that whole shifter assembly forward, like so. It's now off. It's down in the uh, abyss there, but uh, no big deal. Hey, by the way, when you're working on stuff like this, um, having a magnet, uh, a beautiful thing, because it helps pull stuff up when you drop them in the abyss. So, anyway, I'm going to pull the rest of that bolt out, and we'll get the whole coupler. Okay, as you can see, the coupler is now out. I have the two shafts, as you can see, kind of just flapping in the wind there. The shifter is now in first gear, uh, and the, the center piece is just kind of hanging there, and I'm going to be uh, attaching to that on the other side, on the shifter side, with that piece of wood, and pull this whole assembly, um, the shaft, out of the car. So that would be next. Okay, next is putting the uh, shaft into the vehicle so that we can uh, retrieve our shifter. So I'm going through all three holes. I'm just going to keep putting it in there until it goes in. And uh, we should be able to see it in the car in the hole for the shifter. That's the point of the whole thing. Uh, and... Alright, as you can see, the rod is now in there. I flipped the uh, shifter straight over, just kind of flew that thing, kind of pushed on it and it dropped down. Now I'm just going to connect the, uh, the zip tie to this piece of metal here so we can pull the shaft out. That's kind of the hard part. Alright, originally we were going to use a shaft, hook on to the metal shaft with a shaft and pull the thing out. That doesn't seem to work real well. Um, I had kind of poo-pooed this idea originally, but it's really easy to move this thing with the needle nose, so I'm just going to do that. <laughs> I just grab onto it and push, and the thing just kind of moves. It's not not really that hard, so I'll just keep doing that and uh, pull it out that way. The, the other way didn't seem to be working so well, <laughs> so we'll give this a shot. But yeah, this is moving very easily. Um, you know, it's well lubricated and all that, so no reason why it shouldn't move easily. And we'll do that. Well, with all due respect to everyone who told me to use the other method, this was really not a big deal. <laughs> they make this look uh, a lot harder than it really is. But the shaft just came out real nice and easy, and uh, that's the end of it. That's the whole shaft. So, not really a big deal. So I say just uh, in the future, use your fingers, use a pair of needle nose, and it just comes right out. So you might be wondering what you get in the kit um, for the installation kit, which is optional. I think he charged me an extra 30 bucks or something for the installation kit. I figured it looked kind of annoying, so I'd try. This is the actual bushing that you get. 
you'll see it has a groove on it. It goes in that hole that holds the shaft. And on the other end of it, you have this piece here, which of course will go over it. Now, um, as I was thinking, this looks like, and since you only have that hole where the shifter goes in, uh, it's kind of uh, awkward to put in. So I figured, well, might as well spring for the tool. Even though there's nothing showing what the tool looks like or explanation of what the tool is online or anywhere. So that's why I'm doing this. Uh, also comes with a, uh, a memory card that you can... It has the video of how to do the installation. And by the way, yes, there's some installation instructions on uh, YouTube, but not for how to use the tool, because God forbid we should see what the tool looks like. Anyway, the tool consists of this shaft here with a rope on it. Uh, and what happens is you'll end up putting uh, this on the shaft and put fishing that in. Um, that way you don't lose the, you know, this doesn't drop in the, uh, in the, the tunnel, which keep in mind, that's copper, so it's not like you can fish it out with a magnet like you usually do. Uh, this piece here goes into the C-clip, holding it open, and in a sense, picture this actually going this way towards the back of the car. That goes in. This gets fished on a line, which is on this thing, and uh, basically you kind of go like that. And then you pull this and boop, it popped on there and you're done um, and that's basically how this works um, that's basically uh, what you got to work with and that is the tool the tool is basically a piece to hold this open that pops off this to hold that on there so you don't drop it because there'll be a f this line here will actually be pulled through so you can't physically drop it in and of two uh, basic you know, 14 gauge pieces of wire or 10 gauge pieces of wire to uh, uh, kind of fish all the lines around. So I'm going to give this a shot and we'll see how this works. Okay, as you can see, there's a, sc a screwdriver, uh, just a regular Phillips head. It fits into a hole that's on that PCV thing, which kind of holds it up. And now I have that um, clip on that plastic piece shoved all the way up on the copper piece. And if I yank that string, it should hopefully pop it right where it belongs. I will let you know. So we took that PCV pipe tool, put the string around inside that hole where the bush goes into, and then we pulled the PCV pipe uh, through it. Uh, they actually have a video that shows how to do this. And now we're going to put the little clip, which of course is on our other tool, we're going to put that on this. Then we're going to... Uh, Put the whole shebang in there. It's gonna be kind of hard to video this, but you know, take my word for it. Okay, so as you see, I got the uh, the little clip piece on the PCV. I'm gonna push it all the way down, try and get it on the copper piece, and then uh, pull it. And we'll see if that. Works. Okay, it wasn't easy, but uh, I did fish the thing out. I got the thing on. It was uh, a little bit of pushing and pulling. I did have to use a screwdriver and kind of push on the inside ring a little bit after I got the tool off, because uh, while the snap ring was almost all the way on, there was just a little hair that was hanging off, so pushed it on with some screwdrivers, and whew, it was a lot of work. Anyway, done. Uh, the tool did work, did exactly what it said it would do. Um, as basic as the tool is, I would say it is worth the extra money. It did help. It did... Uh, exactly what they said it would do. And like I said, you get this thing to hold it open, and then this little PCV pipe, which has got a cap on it, and that worked real well as, as a pilot. And, um, you know, I just got to tell you, uh, a lot of work, but uh, could have been a hell of a lot worse. Now it's just a matter of putting the uh, shaft back in and putting it through the... Uh, the bushing and the rest of it's downhill. It's just re reversal, two bolts for the shifter and all that. So I uh, hope that was helpful. If nothing else, you got to see what the tool looked like. And um, since I've done it, I'd say tool's worth it. Anyway, if you have any questions, you can always email me. Uh, it's dan.pierce at mail.com. You guys have a good day.